Hey what's up Blender users, I'm Jonathan and in today's video we'll see if we can render up to 8 times faster with the help of AI. A few months back I made a video similar to this one using Dane App, which is an AI powered frame interpolation program. The problems were that Dane App uses a lot of VRAM and therefore can only be used on lower resolution videos. But luckily for us we can now use the successor of Dane which is called Rive. It uses less VRAM, can run on non-NVIDIA systems and is overall better and faster. The software costs $25, but we can set it up for free using the official Rive GitHub. To test how good Rive actually is, I created this scene and rendered out an image sequence in full HD resolution. In the end I wanted to give every fourth frame to Rive. So to do this I set the step value to 4. This means that every fourth frame is being rendered. And here are the results. You can see that Rive of course struggles with very fast motion. You can see that because of this we get these weird warping effects. But overall Rive seems to do a pretty good job with these kinds of 3D renders. Because except on the sphere no details are being lost. So let me show you how to set up Rive and use it for your own renders. To start off, we need to clone the repository to a folder. You can do this by opening the CMD in a folder of your choice and then typing in git clone and copy and paste the link of the repo. Once that is done, enter the new folder by typing in cd space and then hitting tab once. Next we need to download the pre-trained models from github and then move the train underscore log folder into the root of our project. Personally, I like to work with Conda environments, so here I am creating a new Python 3.6 environment called Rive. There are already many great tutorials out there on how to set up and use Conda, so I will not go over that right now. Now we can just activate the environment and then using pip install all required modules by typing in pip install -r requirements.txt. Depending on how many modules you might have already pre-installed, this can take a few minutes, so just be aware of that. Next, I created an image input folder, in which I copy and pasted two demo images. I then copied the command for interpolating an image sequence and ran it in the Windows console. I changed the input folder to the correct name and left the exponent at 2, which means that we'll generate 4 frames per input frame. Depending on your Conda installation, you might also want to change Python 3 to just Python. And now you can see that we're missing Torch Vision. To install it correctly, we need to know our CUDA version. So open the NVIDIA control panel, go to Help, System Information, Components and look for the driver version you have installed. For me it's 11.2. On the official PyTorch site, input the correct parameters and then execute the given command in the CMD. Torch Vision will now start to download and again this can take a little while. Now we can run the command again. To get it to work, I had to rename the input images to 0 and 1, because Rive assumes the images are named after their frame numbers. This shouldn't be a problem if you render your image sequence with Blender. And after some seconds, you will see the output frames appear in the vid underscore out folder. And yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Hopefully this video was interesting and you learned something. And we'll see each other in the next video next Saturday.